Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos, and this video is to highlight some of the differences between the Clavinova CLP645 and the new CLP745. To start with, let's explain where CLP Clavinovas fit into the range of Yamaha digital pianos. Your choice starts with the lower priced Yamaha Aria series. These are excellent value and very authentic to play, but made on a budget to be affordable for beginners. At the top of the range, you have the Avant Grand series. These are hybrid pianos, uh, which include a totally real piano action, like the ones that Yamaha use in their real acoustic pianos. Now sitting in the middle, you have the three Clavinova model ranges. Now the CSP are the newest concept. They have no buttons for features. They rely on connecting up to an Android or iOS device to control all their features, but you get far more voices, more backing styles and microphone settings. Then there's the Clavinova CVP range. These have a large built-in screen and have been evolving since the mid 80s and have become great instruments for pianists who like to experiment and get support from backing styles, keyboard players who like the feel of a piano keys and beginners who want to just enjoy playing with less emphasis on theory and more on enjoyment. The Clavinova CLP series was also launched in the mid 80s, but it caters for all levels of pianists who want just a few variations but not enough to sidetrack you into stopping your progress. For the player who primarily wants to play a piano, but with a few extra features to enhance the playing experience, and with a broad dynamic range of touch and response on the level of a real grand piano. Now in the 600 series launched back in 2017, the CLP645 was the third model up in the range. There used to be a CLP625, which was very similar in spec to the Aria series. Uh, this has not been superseded, and the 700 now starts with the CLP735. This video is about the 745, and um, I'll go through some of its main features and explain what you get. Okay, so dimensions, exactly the same as the 645. 146 centimeters wide, 46 centimeters deep, and 93 centimeters tall. With the music rest up, it's 110 centimeters. Weight is exactly the same as the 645. It weighs in at 60 kilos. Now both models have a USB to host and USB to device. So connectivity to a computer is really easy and saving your recorded songs to a USB memory stick is very simple too. The 745 has built in Bluetooth. Unlike the old 645, where you needed to get a Bluetooth adapter for about £50. This means that you can play music through your Clavinova's audio system uh, from your phone or tablet, and you'll be able to stream audio data like MP3 files. The great thing about this is that you can play along with your favourite tracks and hear it all through the Clavinova speakers. And you can use the CLP745 with Yamaha's fantastic app, Smart Pianist, by connecting it up to your phone or tablet, and it's Android or iOS. And again, unlike the CLP645, where you had to buy a wireless adapter for about £65, the CLP745 has the Wi-Fi adapter built in. So instead of fiddling with the buttons on the small panel of the 745, you can now easily link it up to the Yamaha app, helping to simplify many of its procedures. You can mix voices, adjust levels, change effects like reverb, use functions like transpose, fine tuning, even pedal settings, all from the screen of your tablet or mobile phone. And it will even bring up the music score to all of the 350 songs built into the CLP745, and you can join in with them. And there's a very clever feature where songs in your iTunes library will show up as chord sequences on your screen of your tablet, allowing you to jam along with your favorite tracks. You'll even be able to digitally adjust the tempo without it affecting the key and you can transpose the song to suit your favourite playing key. Both models have a feature called Piano Room. This is where you can specify the location of the piano so you can get a deadened room sound with no sound response, the ambience of a stage or even a church and you get all the reverberations that the location will provide. Uh, now I think the first significant change from the 645 is the speakers. 
The 645 had two pairs of 25 watt speakers, but the new 745 has two pairs of 50 watt speakers. So the first thing you notice when playing the newer version is the depth of the sound, and not only volume, but richness of tone too. Both pairs of speakers are still the same size, 16 and eight centimeters, but speakers in the last three years have really improved and they've become more efficient. So full marks to Yamaha for upgrading these. And the key action has been totally upgraded too. So you get the wooden key action, this time with the Grand Touch S keyboard. And this means you get wooden keys, that's just the white keys, but Yamaha knows what they're doing, and you get synthetic ebony and ivory key tops. So the feel is the real sort of grippy feel, like the ivory on a real piano, compared to the sort of plastic finish of some of the modern digital pianos today. And you get an escapement mechanism too. Uh, this is the mechanism found in grand pianos, which moves the hammers away from the strings quickly after you strike them. This is to prevent any interference with string vibration. And you get a slight clicking sensation when you press the keys gently near the bottom of the key dip, just like that of a grand piano. Now you get rhythms on the CLPs too. The 645 and the 745 both gave you 20 rhythms, but the 745 now gives you the option of having an automatic bass line forming part of the rhythm section. And it follows the notes you are playing so you can enjoy being part of a trio on your own digital piano. And the CLP 700 series gives you a new EQ feature on the control panel. This allows you to adjust the different frequencies of the sounds you're producing, be it a bit more or a bit more less bass, uh, mid-range or treble. So you can really tailor the sound to what your ears like to listen to. You're gonna get two extra voices on the CLP 745, giving you a total of 38. The new 745 includes two extra forte piano sounds. Uh, for all the aficionados of 18th and 19th century forte piano music, uh, these two new voices are samples of the 18th and 19th century pianos, which are ideal when playing Chopin, Beethoven, Scarlatti, uh, Mozart. And you have a large internal memory where you can record up to 250 songs, each with up to 16 tracks. The total polyphony of the CLP 745 is 256 notes. And with the two extra voices, you now have 21 voice demos, along with 50 classics built in to listen to and play along with. And the CLP 745 also includes 303 lesson songs. These include music from the uh, traditional music piano exercises and uh, practice methods, including Hannon, Bayer, Cerny, and Bergmuller studies. And they're all built into this piano. Okay, so let's explain some of the features this instrument has. The Stereophonic Optimizer. Bit of a mouthful. This is on both models. For when you're playing with headphones, it's normally a very different experience to playing through the speakers. So the geniuses at Yamaha have optimized the sound so that it sounds like you are sitting in front of an acoustic piano and the sound is coming from the body of the instrument, even when you're playing through the headphones. Something else. Intelligent Acoustic Control, or IAC. This is on both models too. This is great when you're playing at home, possibly on low volume, and the bass and treble may be difficult to hear. The CLP745 uh, has IAC, which adjusts the sound automatically, allowing players to enjoy a balanced sound, even at a low volume. Real Grand Expression Modeling 2 is a new feature on the CLP735. This is where your piano will pay special attention to the sensitivity of your playing. Even the tiniest nuances of your keystroke, from touching to triggering, will ensure the tone that you hear varies from a limited variety of sounds. Okay, Virtual Resonance Modelling, VRM. This is for your complex interplay and small nuances, which you would experience on an acoustic concert piano. From keystrokes, hammer movement, dampers, pedals, strings and the resonance of the entire sound body, you'll get a full concert grand experience. And in the 735 you'll gain from the new Grand Touch S keyboard, which is very authentic. This is due to key lengths, counterweights and the pivot point between the white and the black keys. In addition they offer a high degree of expressive control, ranging from pianissimo to fortissimo. Something else in CLP745 has is binaural sampling. This has been devised for headphone users, and it's been upgraded to offer a new binaural sample for the Bosendorfer Imperial. And it's very clever. 
what it does is it gives you the feeling as though you aren't actually wearing any headphones at all. And it means you haven't got to worry if you're playing for hours on headphones because you're getting hearing protection, even if you want to play a little bit louder. Now the 745 is a fantastic digital piano. Many features and a great alternative to an acoustic piano. It won't go out of tune. It won't be affected by central heating and underfloor heating. It can be put in a conservatory where the temperatures are going to fluctuate. It can be dismantled and taken upstairs easily. It can even play through headphones. And it costs a fraction of the cost of a new acoustic piano. I hope you found this video really useful. Check out our website epianos.co.uk for other videos of comparisons and demonstrations we've made of the full range of digital pianos. Or click on the link below to see our website and more information.